Welcome back everyone to Vernon Speakeasy YouTube channel. I'm your host Josh Mori, teaching you again how to make a couple new cocktails from our cocktail kits. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Today we're gonna make our version of a classic Paloma. Now I'm gonna give you the original recipe and uh, thought process behind how we change ours so you can see the differences, but at least you'll have both ways. Uh, what you're gonna need is a tall Collins glass of some type, something to rim your glass with, and I'll show you all how to do that in a little while. We like to do ours with Blanco tequila. This stuff is awesome. It's also part of your cocktail kit, so you can utilize it. Herradura agave syrup. Now this is the packaging that we buy, and then we turn it into a more uh, workable syrup. Some grapefruit juice, some fresh lime juice, and some soda water. Let's get our glassware situated first. When we work, uh, it's easy to do this because if your glassware is down on the bar top, you don't have to do it after you've already shaken your cocktail. I like using citrus fruits to do rimming because it helps create like an adhesive little layer. I'm gonna take a nice sharp knife, make sure my fingers are out of the way, cut directly into my citrus fruit of choice, and then I'm gonna slit another little cut kind of halfway down, maybe about a half inch. And then I'm cutting a little bevel out right here. So I've basically created a little lip that I can run the outside of my glass on. And get a nice thick half layer of salt. Cool, that looks good. I always like to do a half because you give people the option to have a sip of the salt or not. This is a nice little hack we've covered before, but when you start making a cocktail, go ahead and put some ice in it and that glass will be nice and cold when you pour it in there. We're gonna need our shaker tins. I'm gonna build from the cheapest ingredient first. So I'm gonna do one half ounce of lime juice, one half ounce of agave syrup. Now I prefer grapefruit juice. This ingredient, uh, you can put as little or as much as you like, but just for, you know, consistency's sake, we're gonna do a full ounce of that fresh grapefruit juice. Beautiful. Now, if you're following a classic recipe, that would be it right there. We do things a little bit differently. I like to add a half ounce of Cointreau. Last but not least, ounce and a half of your Blue Weber Agave Tequila. Beautiful, we'll get some more ice in here, then we'll shake it up. All right, with your tins, make sure it's sealed nice and tight. You don't want anything coming out. We're gonna shake for 10 to 15 seconds. Perfect. Now, take your nice hot thorn strainer, put it right on top, and then pour it directly into your cocktail glass. I'm gonna to top it with some soda water. That gives it a little bit of carbonation. Tastes really tasty. And garnish with a nice little lime wheel with the slit cut in it. Perfect. A little bit of difference is a classic Paloma basically utilizes a grapefruit soda. We like to build ours from scratch, hence we add a little bit more agave syrup and some Cointreau. That's your main difference. Uh, if you don't have like a squirt or, you know, a grapefruit flavored soda, you can do it this way and it's so delicious. All the flavors are nice and tart and citrusy, but you get some sweetness from the agave and from the Cointreau. It's a delicious cocktail and it's very classic. All the ingredients that are not featured or not included with your kit, you can get from us like the Cointreau, the agave, even the grapefruit. So. Cheers, enjoy making your cocktail. Have a great evening. Salud.